Aaron. Huh? What is it good for? Absolutely everything in the craft room. Yeah. All right, I have to apologize to Motown for that little episode, but I wanted to tell you all about glycerin because it's quite fabulous and I get asked all the time about the uses for glycerin and um, last week during Astrocur Crafter, I think it was Elaine left a comment saying, could you please list everything that um, that I can use glycerin for because I bought it because you're always talking about it, but now I can't remember what it was used for. So here it is. I'm doing it today and I will link to videos under the uh, the video in the um, video description. It's also, it says about under the video and then it says show more. You click on that, you see all the goodness that I've typed up under my videos. And for those of you that are looking at me like I have two heads because you don't see that, you're probably watching the video either on my blog or on Pinterest or on Google Plus. So if you're watching the video somewhere else, else. Uh, click on the little logo. I think it's right about there. This says YouTube or maybe it's on the other side of the screen. That will take you to the YouTube watch page and then you'll have all the information and other people's comments. So if Susie Q from Kalamazoo says I use glycerin for this, you'll see her comment and you'll find something else you can use it for too. So yeah, leave a comment if you have another use for glycerin because everyone would love to hear about it. Um, all right, so the first, I made a list. Look at that. I got a list. I'm not just talking over my butt here. Um, the first thing that I use this for would be to uh, re-ink my embossing ink pad. And what I do, so I buy it like this from the health food store. It's about six fifty, and it's sixteen ounces. And so I pour it into a little um, like infant Tylenol bottle that I've washed. It's got a dropper on it, which is really handy because then I'm not trying to pour out of the big opening. So you want to put it into something small that's easy to handle or use a little pipette or eyedropper to get it out of the big bottle. Well, I would still put it in another jar so you don't contaminate the big bottle if something happens. All right, so then what I do to re-ink my um, embossing pad there is I just squeeze it on there. And usually I'll use it straight. You might add just a little bit of water to it, but generally it's going to work pretty good straight. Every once in a while I have to wash out this pad though, so it's kind of damp all the time um, because I have the tendency to spill embossing powder and get it on my pad, then I have to wash it off and then I just add some straight glycerin. So you might want to add a little water to it. The other thing that's really great is that uh, you can make your own pigment inks with glycerin and gouache paint, which is an opaque watercolor. And I will add the link to that video right underneath there. So make your own pigment ink with it. It's great. Um, you can make your own ink refresher for dye based ink. So uh, what this is basically is about a tablespoon of glycerin in here and um, four ounces of water, three or four ounces of water. Shake it up spray your ink pads. It, this works better than just spraying them with water because when you spray them with water you kind of just thin it down and make it runny. The glycerin helps thicken the water and keep it moist. Um, so as the water evaporates it still get a little bit of moisture in there and it just helps the uh, helps the stamp pad remain juicy. This is for when your stamp pad is dried up, not when it's worn, not when you've used up the ink. It's kind of like you've left the lid off and it's the ink is still in there but it's just kind of dry. This will moisten it and it's for dye based ink. Um, and I'll, I'll type that recipe out too. That's not too difficult. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, refill your blender pens. So what you want to do is take an equal mix of glycerin and water, put in a, like a little baby food jar, and then uh, you can uncap your pen and just stick it in there and let it wick up. Or you can use pliers and yank the top of this right off and, you know, just use an eyedropper to drop in the fluid in the middle and lie it on its side for overnight and then it'll be good to go. I love these Stampin' Up! blender pens because the ends stay nice and pointy. I've had these for probably about eight years and the, the ends are still nice and pointy there. Um, they work great. Um, let's see. Oh, you can also use a glycerin to make your own permanent gelatin printmaking plate, kind of like the expensive ones that are sold in the art supply stores. I do have a video on that and I will put a link below or maybe a link in the air. Whoo, air links, annotations as they're called in YouTube lingo. Um, so maybe you can click the screen somewhere if I got my act together or otherwise the, the link will be down below. Um, but basically it's a glycerin, uh, water and gelatin and you make a fabulous uh, gelatin printmaking plate. I had used it with alcohol too, but the alcohol made the uh, plate shrink up too much. Uh, the reason this works to turn gelatin into a permanent gelatin plate is because it stretches up the hydrocarbons in the gelatin and turns it into a plastic and it really doesn't it doesn't make it act any different, but when bacteria come along looking for their snack, they don't recognize it as food. So it plasticizes it. It's kind of really cool and sciencey winey and everything. And I paid attention when I took my, the Boy Scouts to the uh, the university and we met a scientist. I paid attention. I learned about plasticizing things. <laughs> I'm a mad scientist of the crafty variety. All right. Oh, did I get all this stuff? Oh, the other thing. Oh, if you're an acrylic painter. 
If you add um, a few drops of glycerin into your rinse water for your acrylic paint, you will have a longer open time um, when you're painting, which means you can shade a lot better, you can blend a lot better. It makes your water wetter, basically. So a couple drops of this in your rinse water will be fabulous for uh, acrylic painters. All right, so the other thing I want to show you, because I did get a question on my blog about watercolor, and um, a lady had bought some student grade watercolor paints, and then she squirted them in her palette and let them dry like I suggested, but then they got all cracked and crumbly like that. So she was gonna throw it out and try again, and I said, wait, no, 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 don't do that. What you wanna do is you wanna add glycerin to your watercolor paint if it's the lower quality student brand. The higher quality stuff has it in it already, or honey in it, one of those two. A glycerin is basically like a water-soluble oil almost. It's very slick and oily, but it's water-soluble. So that's why it works so fabulously in all of these craft supplies. It doesn't stain your paper like an oil would. Um, it can be mixed with water media. It makes your water wetter. It's just, it helps your markers glide across the, uh, the paper. In fact, I have another video I'm going to link to this. It's how to re-ink your markers. So you can use it also for information on re-inking your blender pens, but it's also how to make ink for your markers, your water-based markers, and re-ink them so you don't have to go and buy a new one as long as your tips are good. Okay, so if you have a, a palette that looks like this, what you want to do, you can just drop a little bit of glycerin in there. This one's not too bad. This blue one's pretty good. I just put a few drops of glycerin in there and let it soak in, and that's going to uh, that's going to keep that paint moist. But if you've got a bunch of like really crinkly crinkly parts, just uh, squeeze a little paint into the palette. It'll help kind of glue all the other paint together, and then just put in. I'll show you here. Just put a drop of glycerin right in there, just a drop or two, don't go too crazy, but it's gonna help keep everything moist in there and make the paint ready to go when you are. This is my daughter's watercolor paints, um, so she's got the student grade paints, um, but they'll work just as well, just uh, a little bit of glycerin will help it perform more like an artist grade. So there you have it, a big old list of what you can do with glycerin in seven minutes! Awesome! I want to th oh, and you like my my wrap? I showed you how to make that yesterday, and I'll put a link to that too because I'm just link happy today. I guess I don't know. Um, I should be cleaning my house. I was taking a break, taking taking a break from house cleaning. I think I need to take a break from video making because apparently I've forgotten how to speak. <laughs> but there you have it, glycerin all wrapped up into one video. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any other suggestions for glycerin. And until next time, happy crafting.